in this video, I'm going to explain all the cell phone plans offered by Verizon and tell you which ones are the best, as well as showing you some alternatives from smaller carriers that might save you a lot of money. Let's go. So the main plans that Verizon sells are their postpaid unlimited plans. So you can see here there's four, technically five, we'll get to that just kids plan later. But the first one is Start Unlimited, this is 70 bucks a month, and honestly I absolutely do not recommend this plan. You're deprioritized 100% of the time, which means that when the network is congested, your speeds will be prioritized lower than people on higher end plants. So because of that, this is a no-go. Also the um, streaming services are actually limited to six month trials, so I also don't think that's a good deal either. So again, this is not a good plan. But taking a look at the three other plans, I personally think the best one is the Play More Unlimited, simply because of the included perks. So you're getting Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus an Apple Music six month trial and Discovery Plus for 12 months as well. So I think that's a pretty good combination of streaming services. You pretty much get everything you need with this plan, as well as 50 gigs of priority data on the Verizon network and 15 gigs of hotspot as well. You're getting access to both Verizon's ultra wideband 5G network and their nationwide 5G network. So you'll be getting both high and low band 5G on both millimeter wave and sub six uh, frequencies. The Do More Unlimited plan is more suited for people who do work more and don't really need the streaming services, so you're not getting as much with the streaming services, but more towards stuff that you need for work. So you're getting 600 gigs of Verizon cloud storage and 50% off unlimited connected device plans. But still, I personally think Play More is going to be the best bet um, in terms of the sweet spot for value, just because even if you do um, do a lot of work, I feel like it would be cheaper to get a cloud storage plan from another company like Apple or Google or something like that, and it would co probably come out cheaper than uh, Do More Unlimited. And then Get More Unlimited is $90, which basically just includes the best of both Play More and Do More, but I personally don't recommend it simply because of the outrageously high price, so there you go. Also, Gage Doubles is a way to show what the family plans are, so if we look at the pricing for four lines, you can see that Start Unlimited drops to $35 per line, Play More Unlimited drops to $45 bucks per line, and so does Do More Unlimited, and Get More Unlimited um, drops to $55. Bucks. Here we also have um, what they call the shared data plans, and honestly, these are just straight up garbage. Absolutely avoid these at all costs. Like, I'd rather you sign up for Start Unlimited than these. These are just awful. So they already look bad. Five gigs for 55 bucks and 10 gigs for 65 bucks, but these are actually old school data bucket style plans. So basically, not only do you pay the price of your five or 10 gig bucket, but also a line access charge. So apparently they're charging you to get this plan access to the network and allowing your phone to use the plan, which I think is absolutely ridiculous and stupid. So the five gig plan is $30 a month, bringing the cost to $85. And the worst part is with the 10 gig plan where they charge a ridiculous $40 a month just so that you're allowed to use this plan. So $105 with the 10 gig plan. Verizon, what are you doing? What are these plans? Your unlimited plans are cheaper than this. These are stupid. Verizon, what the f The next options I'm gonna tell you about are their prepaid plans, and these are actually better than the uh, shared data plans, thankfully. So basically, um, the way the pricing structure works with these, they updated it in August 2020, but basically, you get a loyalty discount. So there's no more family slash group discount with the prepaid plans. They have replaced it with the loyalty discount. So basically, on your second month of service, then you'll get your auto pay discount. So after your second month, then you get your $5 auto pay discount if applicable, bringing the five gig plan down to 35 bucks, 15 gigs for 45 bucks, and the various unlimited plans, um, $5 off of those as well. After your fourth month, then you get an additional $5 savings with a total of $10 savings. So now five gigs becomes $30 and 15 gigs becomes $40. Then after this period of time, after nine months, then your cost drops significantly and this is the lowest your prices will get so 5 gigs becomes $25 15 gigs for 35 and then 50 and 60 for unlimited personally i think only the 5 and 15 gig plans are worth it on verizon prepaid i just think the unlimited plans cost too much money for what you're getting you're not getting any priority data on the verizon network here you do get ultra wideband 5g but you could certainly get that on other plans so Personally, I don't think these unlimited plans are worth it, but I do like these two plans to the left, the 5 and 15 gig plans, because I do think they're good value once you get your various uh, loyalty discounts. Verizon also offers plans for tablets, smartwatches, connected devices, other various things, so I'll dive into those really quickly. So for tablets, you can get either unlimited for $20 and unlimited plus for $30. 
Um, if you want to add a smartwatch, like a cellular Apple Watch or something like that, it's going to be 10 bucks to add it to a certain plan. So you cannot get this as a standalone plan from Verizon. This is only if you could add it to um, a certain plan that you have. So if you have an unlimited plan or something like that. Um, for hotspots and jetpacks, you're getting the same $20 and $30 unlimited plans. And also same for cellular enabled laptops, which I think is quite interesting to have a cellular enabled laptop. There you go, 20 and 30 bucks to connect those to the internet on the go as well. If you are a nurse, if you're a teacher, if you're a first responder or someone in the military, then I have good news for you. First of all, thank you very much. It's truly appreciated. But also Verizon will give you a $10 discount on your plans. So start unlimited becomes $60. Play more and do more unlimited becomes $70, and get more unlimited becomes $80. Once again, same thing as before, I do recommend play more as the best sweet spot for value, perks, priority data, all that for $70. Bucks. And of course, you're getting discounts for multiple lines as well, so play more unlimited becomes $40 a line for four lines um, if you're in a family of four. So I said that I talk about the Just Kids plan in depth a little bit later, and here's that time. So parents, if you're looking to get your kid a plan, this might be something to look into, but remember you do have to have an active line on one of Verizon's main unlimited plans. So they show this big old $25 price, but that's only if you have five or more existing Verizon lines. Basically what it does is it gives your kid unlimited data at five megabits per second. On your phone, it'll show all the things that they're doing, what they are what they have in these little um, pie charts and bar graphs. So there we go. You can also have content filters to block what they can and can't see. You can pause their internet connection. You can manage calls and texts and their contacts. You can track their location and have the kid request to pick you up. And I think a lot of these parental controls features are gonna be very useful for parents who want to um, keep up with their kids on the Just Kids plan, but you can get parental controls on other plans from other carriers that might be better value and include more for the same amount of money. And finally, I wanna talk about the um, student discounts that Verizon offers for college students. So if you have one line, you save $10, just like with the other Verizon discounts. And if you have two lines, you actually save $25 on your entire bill, not $25 per line, but just uh, $25 off your entire bill. Maybe useful, but if you're a college student, I'd imagine you're looking for more affordable plan, not just a slight discount off your Verizon plan, but yeah, there you go. Now, while all those plans from Verizon are great, you may also consider alternative plans from MVNOs. MVNO stands for Mobile Virtual Network Operator, and while these plans aren't owned or offered by Verizon, they still do use Verizon's network to provide coverage. This means you'll be getting some of the best coverage in the industry while getting plans that are much more affordable and include much more data. And they can save you a lot of money versus the Verizon plans as well. This plan up to the left is from Ting. It's called Ting Flex. You basically pay $10 a month for talk and text and then an additional $5 per gig of data you use. US Mobile offers some of the most aggressively priced plans in the industry. You can get five gigs of data for $15 and 18 gigs of data for $25. That is insane. And if you need unlimited data, then Visible's got you covered for $40 a month or even $25 a month if you join a Visible party. Here you're getting unlimited data on the Verizon network with unlimited hotspot at five megabit per second speeds. It is important to note that visible speeds are deprioritized, meaning that when the Verizon network is congested in your area, your speeds will be prioritized below Verizon postpaid subscribers. And that's actually the same thing with all these other plans. They're all deprioritized. However, if you do need priority data, there are some other options, or you may just consider a plan directly from Verizon if the congestion in your area is actually that bad. However, these plans could save you a lot of money and get you a very similar experience to Verizon themselves. So those are all the plans offered by Verizon. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in seeing the comparisons for AT&T and T-Mobile, then I'll have those videos on the screen now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.